Adventurers with Paul. Hey yo, welcome back to Adventures with Paul. Hope everybody is having a great week. Today's adventure is not super eventful. So we did get another snowstorm and I was going to bring you another tubing adventure on a completely different hill. And then by the early morning, the snow that was accumulating was starting to melt. So it would have been a slush fest. But I did get my uh, backsplash tiled in my kitchen. Thanks to all you subscribers out there for making that possible. Wait. No. I, I had to kind of go out and, you know, do that on my own. Because I don't have enough subscribers yet for that. But anyways, guys, we're going to come back. I'm going to show that off. And then I'm going to make an epic smash burger. Come with me, guys. Let's get started. Let's. Go. Guys, I'm on the balcony. You can see these flakes are ginormous. I think that we are going to have to have another snow adventure today. So if you guys think that's a cool idea, come with. Before we make these smash burgers, I want to give you an update on the test kitchen. You can see we got this tiled backsplash. Got it on both sides. All right, let's get cooking. So into this bag, not gonna really measure anything. I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon or so of flour. Gonna grind up some salt. Black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper, remember this stuff can overtake and overpower, a little bit of ground cinnamon, same concept, don't want too much paprika. We're going to mix this all up in the bag, seal it. We don't want to get all the air out. The flour is going to kind of help get some of the starch out of the sweet potato and leave these for about 45 minutes or so. To the bag, I'm going to come in with about, let's say two tablespoons of canola oil and then we're just going to mix it good and place them on a baking tray. I spread these out over two trays. You want to keep them spread apart or they won't get crispy in the oven. In the bowl we have some ground beef. It's 80 to 20 and we're just gonna kind of break it apart and we're gonna go with these like probably two three ounce balls. We only want to loosely pack this like like so. So we're gonna use a Martin's potato bun, buttered, get it toasted in the pan. Everything I've seen with the Smash Burger says that you should use Martin's potato roll. Our buns got that toast. Gonna put this aside and start making the Smash Burgers. All right, we got some butter going in the pan. I'm gonna take one of these loosely packed meatballs, put it down. We're gonna smash. I'm gonna use the. I'm actually gonna use this tool over my. We're going to smash for about 10 seconds. We're going to lock in those juices. That's what they're looking like. And we're going to let it cook 
for probably about three minutes on that side and let those edges get all crispy. All right, we are going to get under this. Don't want to break the seal. Flip it. Add our slice of cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar. I know, I know. Probably should use American, but we're going to let that melt and then I'm going to do one more and have a double decker. Our cheese is looking good. We're going to slowly start to assemble. I'm going to do mustard on the bottom. All right. Added some pickles. Got the burger. Waiting on the second patty. Same thing. Add one more slice of cheese. Gonna top it with the second smash burger. If I can get it off. Woo! Next we're gonna add this crispy bacon. Top it with some ketchup. Gotta give it a little bit, right? Look at that burger, guys. Woo! There's our burger, our sweet potato fries, and we got an avocado ranch to dip in. All right, guys, taste test. I don't even know what it hit you with first. Let's try one of these sweet, a little bit of spicy sweet potato fries. Hmm. Those are good. Really, really good. That avocado ranch. But I know what you guys want to see. Smash burger. Woo! Woo -hoo! All right. Mmm. Wow. Crispy edges. That bacon on top gives it extra crispy. You got the pickles. Mmm. 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 Hey, guys. Welcome back. Well, like I said, I didn't have a crazy adventure or anything like that this week. I did go for a little bit of a walk um, in the snow, which was pretty. Um, but that smash burger, guys, I've never made one before, and I always see other guys on YouTube or recipes online for one. And didn't really know what to expect. Didn't know if they were going to be hard to make. Super easy. Uh, really what you need though is the right tool to press down. I was going to use the spatula at first. And then I thought that I had this awesome uh, tool that I use for mashed potatoes. And that was the perfect tool. So basically you just got to hold it in and lock it for like 10 seconds. And you're good to go. You got a smash burger. But anyways guys, if you like this video or others on the channel, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Uh, drop a comment below, give me a recipe, give me more ideas for places to go. Um, I'm going to try to keep this going. Football season did begin last week, which made it a little bit more challenging to bring you an adventure. Um, but I'm going to bring you a recipe or something like that uh, regardless each week. Um, remember to ring the bell for notifications and staying up to date with the channel and subscribe. And as always guys, keep it positive, keep it stoked. We'll catch you on the flip side.